me, Sophia. I hope you're all doing well. So I thought we'd do another full body Pilates workout, but in this workout, we're gonna also add some standing Pilates. Standing Pilates is great because it still works your core like regular Pilates, but it also challenges your balance and it gets your heart rate up as well. So let's get started. We'll do a warm up first. Let's stretch those legs long. We're gonna point the toes up to the ceiling, draw the navel in. We're gonna pull forward using our abs. We're gonna stretch right back. Going forward and take it back. So if you feel it in your lower back, bend the legs. And one more time. Let's go the other way. We're gonna go forward, roll up, and stretch three more times. Good. Two. Last one, let's hold and stretch for four. Three, two, one. We're gonna cross the arms, keep those heels lined up. We're gonna take one arm back and stretch to the back for four. Three, two, one. The arm goes over and the other arm reaches back and hold for four. Three, two, one. Both arms down, using our abs, we're gonna stretch right up to the ceiling. Exhale, arms go down, bending the legs. And now let's reach that right leg up, relax the shoulders down. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Let's do our left leg. Nice long leg, relax to the shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Let's try both legs. If you like halfway up, or if you're comfortable, a little more challenging all the way up. Remember, we're watching that lower back, keeping it nice and long. If you like, arms reach up even higher. And now from here, if you like, releasing the legs. Strong core, full teaser for four, three, two, one. We're gonna hug those legs. Let's stretch forward one more time. And now we're gonna roll ourselves down. If you like using your hand to guide yourself down, and we're gonna pause here for a big, healthy stretch. Arms reach up, legs pull down. Okay, exhale, arms go down. Let's move into the hundreds. So the hundreds uses some percussion breath, and we're gonna pump the arms with the breath. Five short breaths in, five short breaths up. So if you like, you can always just leave the legs bent if you're a beginner. If you like, a little harder, legs straight up, or if you like, legs at a 65 degree angle. And if you wanna change it up a little, legs together on the inhales, apart on the exhales. And you always have the option, more advanced head and shoulders lifted. Okay, so draw the navel in, here we go. Pumping the arms with the breath, inhale. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Four, fifty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, three. Four, five, exhale, two, three, four, a hundred. Good, we'll pull the knees in. Okay, so now for the six basic Pilates exercises, starting with our single leg stretch. So hips and tailbone anchor down, abs are engaged. We're gonna pull the right knee in as the left leg extends, anywhere from a 45 to 65 degree angle, and then we switch. We just wanna let it flow. Inhale, one movement, exhaling the other. Okay, we got six more. And other leg. Five, reaching that leg long each time. Four, good. Three, two, and one. Let's pull the right knee in, extending the left leg. We're going to hold for four. Three, two, one. We're going to switch and hold for four. Three, two, one. Good double leg stretch. We're going to reach the arms by the ears. Circle the arms around, touch the shins. Full body stretch. You just want to watch the neck as well. Six more, just keeping the natural curve in your neck. Five more, don't let the chin lift up and your neck over arch. Four, and the upper and mid back muscles stay anchored down. 
three, natural curve through the lower back, two, hips and tailbone down, and that's our neutral spot. Let's hold, neutral spot for four, three, two, one, knees come in, legs come up, moving into wide scissors. Now we're gonna open those legs, get a nice stretch, and close the legs. Legs are as straight as they can be, and if you feel any discomfort in the lower back, we're gonna do six more of these, have your hands underneath the buttocks. Five, that helps to support your lower back. Four, and squeeze. Three, good. Two, last one, we're gonna open those legs, we're gonna flex those feet, let's pause for six. Five, four, three, two, one, hands to the thighs, stretch and hold for four. Three, two, one, legs come together and relax out. Regular scissors, let's get those legs back up again. Tailbone anchor down, wrap over the right leg, the left leg goes to the hip, and we're gonna switch. And we're gonna switch, inhale and exhale. You can do smaller scissors if you like, six, if you feel the lower back, five, and we want that stretch. It's a great thing with Pilates for, we're toning and strengthening, but we're also improving our flexibility. Okay, three more. Two, last one, let's flex the feet. We're gonna hold, but here, if you're able to, walk the hands up the leg, head and shoulders lift up. Relax the shoulders, so don't let them climb by the ears, and hold for four, three, two, one, we're gonna switch, stretch and hold for four, three, two, one, both legs up, four, three, two, one, and take it down. All right, let's move into double leg lifts. Legs right up, flexing the feet down. We go watch your lower back, don't let it over arch. Only take the legs down to what feels right for you and then we take the legs slowly up. Okay, if you need to, hands underneath the buttocks. Down we go, we're gonna flex the feet, pause, point the feet. Without swinging, legs come up slowly. Okay, six more. Your shoulders are relaxed and down. Five. Good, and up we go. Four, keep squeezing those thighs and stretching those legs. Three more. And up we go. Two more. Last one, we're gonna go down, let's hold, pressing into the heels, breathe it through. Four, four, three, two, one. We're gonna point up, stretch up, relax out. All right, let's finish it off with some twisting. Hands behind the head, elbows wide, crisscross bicycle. So opposite elbow to the knee and fully extending the opposite leg. So you can have the leg at about a 45 degree angle or higher if you like, at a 65 degree angle. Here we go. Twisting it up. We've got six more. Exhale. Five. Four. And these twists are good for the, the waistline. Three. Helps to trim through the waist. Two. Last one, let's twist, hold, and breathe. For four, three, two, one, and we're gonna switch. Hold and breathe. For four, three, two, one, and knees coming. Okay, now for the fun part, we're gonna put it all together in a flow. So engaging those abs, four of everything, starting with our single leg stretch. Here we go for four, and another leg. Inhaling and exhaling. Three, and reach the leg long. Two more, and one. Now let's go into some double leg stretches for four. Circle around, knees come in. Three, inner neutral spine. Two, and one. Legs up, it's time for wide scissors. For four, inner outer thighs. Three, two, one. Let's move into regular scissors. Four, stretch your leg and stretch. Three, exhaling, two, and one. Okay, some double leg lifts. Let's get those legs up. Only go down to what feels right for you. Four, really be careful you don't over arch the lower back. Three, and right up. Two, good, and last one. And now let's twist it up. Glue the hips down, elbows wide. We have four. 
exhale, three, two, and one, and relax down. All right, pausing for a quick stretch. So arms out, we're gonna get one leg over the other, inhale, exhale, drop the knees to one side and look the other way that the knees are facing. This is just gonna help your shoulders stay down and give you a gentle stretch to the neck. We're gonna take the knees center and down we go to the other side. And knees come up. I'm crossing the legs. Let's get the other leg on top. So dropping the knees to one side, the other way. And right up. And drop the knees to the other side. Knees center. I'm crossing the legs back to working the core. We're going to move into single leg extensions. So we're going to extend the leg at about a 45 degree angle, arms by the ear. So we're starting off in our neutral spine, and now we come up. Lift the head up, so we're firing up those upper and mid abs, and then we're going to take the head right down, targeting more lower abs, thighs, and glutes. So we're going to come up, inhaling one movement, exhaling the other, full body stretch. Six more. If you have difficulty fully extending the leg, five, or if you feel it in the lower back, just take the leg up higher. Four more. And lengthen. Three. Good. Two. One more time. All right, so now let's flex the foot. Arms up, and we're gonna use those abs to lift right up. Okay, any pressure in the neck, hand behind the head. And now just a gentle pulse up. Is you wanna feel it in your abs, not the neck. We've got six more. Five. Good. Four. Three. Two, one, let's hold for four, three, two, one, good. Relax down, all right, time for our left leg. Left leg extends, arms extend, let's crunch, and then we're gonna lengthen, and pull right in, and stretch right up. Six more, five, and lengthen, four, Good. Three. Two. Last one. Arms up. Flex the foot right up using those abs. A gentle pulse. Here we go. We've got six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's hold for four. Three. Two. One. Good. Okay, one more of these, but we're going to try both legs. So we're going to get the legs up a little higher at a 65 degree angle. Arms up. So we're starting off in the neutral spine. We're going to crunch, curl up in a little ball, and then we're going to stretch long. So we're coming up, and we're stretching. All right, let's go for six. Fully extend, squeezing those thighs. Five. Four. And lengthen. Three. Stay with me, hang in there. Two. And one. Okay, arms up, flex the feet right up, less pulse. Pressing into those heels. Here we go. If you need to, hand behind the head for six, five, four, three, two, one. We're holding for four, three, two, one. Good. Oh, really feeling that. Knees come in. We'll rock from side to side. Okay, so now let's get some work for our inner outer thigh. We're going to go into a side leg extension. So we're going to start by flexing the left foot and just pulling that knee into the chest. We're actually stretching through the hip of the left leg. The right leg comes right up. We're going to flex the foot here, stretching through the hamstring of the right leg. But now, without allowing the hips to tilt, we're going to take that right leg out to the side. We're going to pulse once, getting a nice stretch of the inner thigh and the hip. And then we're going to slowly take the leg up center and pulse what's here. Okay, so really working hard to stabilize those hips. If you do find your hips are rocking, six, or tilting, that's an indication you need to engage the abs more. Five more. Stability in the hips come from the abs. Four more. Get that nice stretch and back up. Hang in there. Three more. And up. Two more. Good. And one. All right, so now let's take the leg down. 
And also you want as close to the shoulders as you can. So you're also stretching the hamstring. And we're just gonna pulse. Really lighting up that inner thigh. Breathe it through for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold and stretch for four, three, two, one. Slowly take the leg up. Let's pull the right knee in. Let's take that left leg up. So stretching down through the right hip, left hamstring, but now we're gonna take that leg out to the side. Don't let the hips tilt. Pulse once, slowly come up with control. And you just want a steady breath, inhaling one movement, exhaling the other, six more. And up we go. Good, five. And up. Four more. Almost there. Three more. Two. Last one. Pulse. And then we're going to come up. Pulse. Let's go down. And we're going to pulse here. Here we go. First six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's hold for four. Three, two, one. Coming up, and both knees pull in. All right, on to get some lower abs. So from here, let's get those legs to about a 65 degree angle, but working more with the arch of the lower back pulling down. So we're not quite in neutral spine. We're actually imprinting the entire spine down on the mat. And you find when you pull that lower back in, it forces those lower abs to activate a little more. But if you need two hands underneath the buttocks for extra support for the lower back, here, we're gonna go into heel taps. A nice tone for the thighs and the glutes as well. Relax your shoulders. Okay, we'll go for six more. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Flex the feet only if you're comfortable. Legs go down a little lower. Again, still pulling that lower back down. For six. Five. Four. Stretching those legs. Three. Two. One. Knees come in. Okay, now same thing, but rather than the heel taps, we're gonna try some leg kicks, small little flutter kicks. So we're keeping the movement very controlled, stabilizing those hips so you can feel it below the navel. And we're relaxing the shoulders for six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's flex the feet, and if you can, legs down a little lower for six, Five, four, three, two, one, and knees coming. Okay, we're gonna try putting it together. Let's try eight heel taps, eight counts holding, and then if you can without stopping, eight leg kicks and eight counts holding. Okay, here we go. Let's extend, relax the shoulders, imprinting the entire spine down on the mat. Let's tap those heels. We've got eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, flex and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, point and kick with control. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, flex and hold, hang in there for eight, seven, six, Three, two, one. Good. Knees coming. Take a second here. We'll stretch through the lower back. We'll rock from side to side. Okay, so back to working everything. We're almost on the first segment. We're going to go into around the world. So around the world is great. It gets everything, but it's a little tricky. So I'm going to demonstrate it and then let's try it together. So with around the world, we have the shoulders, hips, and tailbone pinned down. You can go back to your neutral spine, natural curve in the lower back, or flat lower back. We stretch the legs to a 65 degree angle, keeping those hips and tailbone glued down. With straight legs, we circle the legs up to a 90 degree angle, and then we bend, and then we, we start over again. So here we go. Getting ready. Tummy's tight. Neutral spine, or if you prefer more, the flat lower back. We're going to extend. Circle around and bend. Firing up those thighs. 
and bend. So what you want to watch out for is that you never over arch the lower back. Six more. So when you over arch the lower back, you can put it in a vulnerable position where you can strain it. Five, but with a flat lower back or neutral spine. Three, you're keeping pressure away from your lower back. Two, circle, and one. But we're not done yet. Now we go the other way. So we start at that 90 degree angle. We're going to circle around to about that 65 degree angle and pull the knees right. Imagine you have heavy ankle weights on your legs, really forcing the thighs to work hard. Okay, six more. Again, watch those legs. They're going to want to bend. Keep them nice and straight. Five, we're keeping them straight until they meet, and then we pull it. Four. Knees come in. Three. Good. Two. And one more time. Circle right around. Knees come in. Stretch up. Flex the feet. Let's add some pulsing. Here we go for eight. larger circles. Four more, with the legs lower towards the floor. Three, but if you find it challenging, just keep the circles small. Two, and one. Okay, good. Now, let's pause. Make sure the legs are straight and squeezing. We go the other way. Again, shoulders stay glued down. Breathe it through. All right. We have five more. Four, three, two, and one. Legs up tall and relax down. Okay, so right leg is up and stretching. Left hand behind the head. We're going to move into crisscross. We're going to twist right over and then relax the head down. So we're going to squeeze through the belly and down we go. We'll just do four more of these. Three, two, last one. Let's flex the foot. Let's pulse. Three, four, three, two, one. Opposite leg extends. We're going to stretch and hold. Four, four, three, two, one. Knees coming. Okay, let's do our left leg. Left leg extends. Right hand behind the head. Let's twist. And then we're going to go down. This also gives us a great stretch through the back. We're going to go four more. Three more. Two. Last one. Flex. Let's take it to a pulse. Four, four. Three. Two. One. Opposite leg extends and hold. For four. Three. Two. One. And he's coming. All right. We're going to finish it off. Crisscross bicycle flow. So we're going to review some of the exercises we did throughout the class and we're going to um, do three rounds of that. So follow along with me. It will be a little challenging, but you'll always have the option of stopping and stretching if you need to or modifying an exercise if you like. Okay, so let's start with those double leg extensions. We're going to take those legs out like a 65 degree angle, arms by the ears. So this is the one where we curl up in a little ball. Four, and then we stretch right up. Three, fully extend back to our neutral spine. Two, and one. Arms down, lower back down, heel taps. Four, so what we did for our lower abs. Three, two, one. Let's try some leg kicks. We're four, three, two, one. Legs up, scissors. Four, but you can choose your scissors. Whichever variation you like. Three, there's also the wide scissors. Two, inhaling, exhaling, and one. Okay, we're gonna twist, crisscross bicycle. Four, four, opposite elbow to the knee. 
three, working hard, stretch your leg long, two, and what? So that was round one, round two, stretch and curl up in that little ball, four, and lengthen, three, two, beautiful stretch, and one, lower back down, arms down, heel taps, four, four, light up those thighs, three, see if you can feel below the navel, two, one, leg kicks, we've got four, three, two, one, legs up, scissors, four, can you choose your scissors, three, two, one, we're going to twist, crisscross bicycle, four, four, three, two, and one, okay, one more round, we got this, here we go, we're going to stretch and extend, four, double leg extensions, three, working hard, two, keeping good form, one, and now heel taps with strong straight legs, four, four, three, two, one, leg kicks, four, four, three, two, one, legs up, choose your scissors for a four, exhaling, three, good, two, and one, let's go into some double leg lifts, since it's our last round, four, four, and slowly come up, carefully you don't swing, three, good, two, And one, and we're twisting. We've got four, almost there. Three, exhale, two, and one. Good job, okay, so we'll pull the knees in. We'll rock from side to side. We'll stretch our right leg out. And a gentle twist, looking over your shoulder. And then we'll take the knee up. Relax the leg down. Let's do our other leg. And a nice twist. The knee comes up and relax the leg down. Now shoulder bridge. So ankles and knees up. They're about hip width apart. We're drawing that navel in. Slowly feel the tailbone off the mat. Get a good stretch, especially through the lower back. It's actually nice toning for the thighs and the glutes. And then we go down two more times. Coming up. And then going down. Last time, let's come up. We'll reach the arms by the ears and we'll hold for four, three, two, one. Down we go. We'll pull the knees and give them a good squeeze. And then from here, we're going to go into some um, upper body work first and then we're going to finish off with our standing pull-ups. Let's do a child's pose first. We're just going to sink right back. If you like knees apart, relax your hips, your thighs. Take some nice deep breaths here. Okay, so from here I thought we'd do some upper body and then we're going to go into some standing Pilates. So for upper body, we're going to have the hands um, in, uh, hands slightly outside of the, the shoulders. We're going to get some arms and chest. Let's get that right leg extended. We're going to take the right leg over, leg extends, and it's a push up. We're going down and up. So we're going to go over, getting thighs and glutes as well as upper body down and up. We're going to just go for six more of these. Five, good, down and up. We have four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go for six push ups in a row. For six, five, four, three, two, and one, and now flexing the foot, we're gonna pull the heel in and extend. Pull in and extend. Four more. Three, two, and one. Let's pull the heel in and we're gonna pause for four. Three, two, one. Let's go down and hold for four. Three, two, one. We'll come up and press back into a child's pose. Let's do the same thing now with our left leg. Left leg extends, we're going to go over, coming up, and it's a push-up, down, and up. Inhaling, 
and exhale. Let's go for six more. Five. You got it. Hang in there. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, six push-ups in a row. For six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Flexing the foot. We're gonna pull the heel in and extend. All right, we'll go for four more. Three, two, one. Pull that heel in, let's pulse. For four, three, two, one. Down we go and hold for four, three, two, one. And press back into child's pose. Here, if you like a relaxed child's pose, we'll circle the arms one way and then the other. Okay, onto our belly. Let's go into a swan. So keep the abs engaged. We're going to take the arms at our sides over a deeper stretch, clasp behind the back. Let's come up. We'll leave the legs down for now. And then we're going to go down. We're coming up. And down. Now when we come up, let's get those legs up too. We'll tap the heels together. We're four. Three. Two. One. Breast stroke. Arms by the ears. And stretch back. And stretch. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Let's stretch and hold for four. Three. Two. One. Pull back and hold for four. Three. Two. One. Good. Release right down. And we'll go back into a child's pose. Press right back into our heels. And now we're going to walk the hands over to one side. And we'll go to the center and to the other side. And back to the center. We'll take some breaths here. Good. Okay, so now for our standing Pilates. So standing Pilates is great because it works everything just like our mat Pilates. It also challenges our bowels and it gets our heart rate up as well. So we're going to start with our feet hip width apart, draw the navel in, we're going to reach those arms out. We're going to squat right down, using our core, right up and stretch. So bend deep, getting our thighs close to our abs, and stretch. Let's go for four more. Good. Three. And open. Two. Last one. And we're going to open those legs a little more and let's stretch and stretch. This is a great side stretch, but also trims through the waist. We're doing four more, three, two, and one. Let's do four reaches up. Here we go for four, three, two, one to the other side, or four, three, two, one, and release down. All right, standing core training. So single leg stretch. Okay, mirroring me, and remember, keep your abs engaged and always think about your posture. Imagine you're bouncing a book on your head. So we're gonna take those arms right up. We're gonna get the right leg up, and then the left leg. And pause for a nice full stretch. Right leg, and left. Inhaling one movement, six. And exhaling the other, five. And lengthen. Four. Good. Three. Two. And one. And relax the arms down. All right, let's move into a double leg stretch. Arms reach out. So the feet are still hip width apart. We're going to bend deep and now arms pull in front and stretch. So you're circling the arms right around. Stretch and down. Here we go. Six more of these. Bending. Five. And that full body stretch. Four. Good. Three. Two. Last one. We're going to go halfway up. Drop the tailbone and hold for four. Three. Two, one, let's stretch right up 
and relax down. All right, next we exercise, we're gonna stay with our right leg. So again, mirror me, arms extend, we're gonna take that right leg up. Pull the knee in, and then lengthen. If you have trouble bouncing, you can just have the foot touching the floor. Six more, five, and if the arms get heavy, you can take the arms down, four, three, two, and one. So now we'll have the arms right up, pull the shoulders down, elbows soft, so slightly bent, leg up to the side. See if you can feel a nice stretch down the back. So now inner outer thigh. Good, don't worry if you're wobbly. Six more, just like everything. Five, with practice you can improve your balance. Four, three, two, and one. We'll take the foot right down, arms in front. Let's get the leg back now. Here we're gonna bend the supporting leg, so bending the left leg. And by doing that, it just helps to give our lower back a little more flexibility. Okay, so arms out. And now we pull that right knee in and extend. So we're still with the same leg. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Oops, I'm losing my balance. Good. And now relax the arms down. All right, let's do our left leg. Arms extend, left leg extends. Pull in and reach the leg long. Okay, six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Arms up, pull the shoulders down, leg to the side. And getting that beautiful stretch down the back, the shoulders. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Arms in front, leg pulls back, we're bending the, the left leg now, keep the chest lifted. Pull in, and extend, and extend. Six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, relax down, last one. We're gonna try standing start. So we're gonna squat right down, and we're gonna step to the right. Squat right down, and step to the left. Get that nice full stretch of the shoulders and the chest. And extend. Six more, getting our heart rate up as well. Right deep bend, and to the left. Five more. Good. Four more. Down. And step. Three more. Two more. Okay, last one. And then we're gonna go down to the other side. And now keeping those knees lined up, we're gonna squat right down, let's twist. Opposite elbow to the knee, trimming through the waist for six, five, four, Three, two, one. Let's twist to one side and hold. Bend nice and deep for four. Three, two, one. To the other side. Four, three, two, one. Hands to the thighs. Just a little pulse here. For four, three, two, one. Arms right in front. Last one, I promise. And we're gonna take those heels right up. For six. Five, really feel those thighs. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Stretch right up. Exhale, relax arms down. We're going to inhale and exhale. Breathing in and breathing out. We're going to come up. Down we go. Let's hold for four, three, two, one. Bend, slowly roll up. Stretch right up. Exhale, relax down. So we're not quite done. If you like, if you've had enough, you can just walk it out. If when you like to challenge yourself, we're gonna do a flow. So starting from our single leg stretch, we're gonna try four of everything. And if you find you're losing your breath or you need a break, again, just walk it out. Okay, here we go. Arms up, single leg stretch for four. And other leg, don't forget to fully extend, 
three, reach those arms up, two, and one. Let's do a double leg stretch for four, and right up, three, hang in there, two, and one. Leg extensions, right leg for four, challenging our balance, three, great toning for our core, two, one, arms up, leg to the side, weight in the center of the body for four. You don't want your weight, go right on that left hip. Three, two, one, arms in front, leg pulls back, we're gonna bend the left leg for four. Three, two, one, okay, arms back up, left leg for four, three, two, one, arms out, leg to the side, shoulders pull down, four, see if you can feel that stretch down the back, three, two, one, arms in front, leg pulls back, bending the right leg, for four, three, two, one, good, standing star, right down, and four more, breathing, don't forget to, to breathe, three, and Exhale, good, two, almost there, and last set, we're gonna step to the right, we go down, we step to the left, let's do our twisting, line up those knees, sinking right down, and we're twisting, four, four, three, two, one, here, let's add our hold, four, four, three, two, one to the other side, hips are still twisting from the waist up. For four, three, two, one, a little bit of a pulse for four, three, two, one, arms in front, heels come up, drop the tailbone. For four, three, two, one, good job. Stretch right up, exhale, relax the arms down, we're gonna open up those legs, healthy breath in. And exhale, two more times. Last time. And now we're gonna just stretch forward, mindful of the lower back. Remember, you always bend the legs if you feel the lower back or if you have a, a bad lower back. And we're gonna relax the head down. So the head down below the heart, that helps to cool the body down and slow our heart rate down. And then we'll walk the hands over to one leg, still keeping the hips leveled. Let's go to the center, we'll walk to the other leg. And back to the center. Let's bend the legs deep. Let's fold those arms using those abs. Rolling right up. Stretch right up. Exhale, relax the arms down. We're gonna inhale and exhale two more times. Breathing in and breathing out. Last time and exhale. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you stay healthy and safe, and I hope to see you again real soon.